Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So hopefully we can get that, um, what do you call it, the market finished today? I think it won't be too much longer for building all this, to tell you the truth. It seems like it's mostly done, so I have a feeling that it won't take more than today to finish, and then we can start working on dismantling the, um, the old kitchen and dining room, and we'll hopefully have the part dug out already. Now, he's still digging out this part right now, but uh, we'll still have to fill in with um, stone bricks and stuff like that, but uh, it should take a little bit of while, but it shouldn't be like horrible for time. Um, as far as the other stuff, what we're gonna need to do is move everything forward and probably plan out a little bit more of how we're gonna be utilizing the space and stuff like that too, right? Um, if we're going with something like this, uh, like what we've done with the uh, stone bricks here, then we're going to need a lot more of that. <laughs> but um, it will also depend where we're going to be putting the uh, stairs and everything as well, because we're going to need to move the stairs forward as well to get it um, aligned with the new building. So... It's just a matter of kind of planning out a little bit ahead and stuff like that. Like, if we put it somewhere around here, it should work, I think. And we can even do a spiral stairs case down. I guess that would save room as well. We could do something like that. Um, yeah, I guess somewhere over here. I don't know. We'll figure it, we'll figure it out. And we're going to need to... Uh, dig out the place first so I'm glad we have a couple people doing night shifts this guy's building and the other guys digging so it works out but we'll work on the market first and then we'll start planning out the uh, building and stuff now we do have a couple settlers cold so I'm not sure yes yeah, just this guy the one that's building outside We're right in the middle of a cold snap, too, right? So, we could probably tell him to warm up, just bring him inside and put him near one of these uh, things that might work. We'll just let him uh, place these down and then we'll tell him to do that. All right.
right, so she's basically about done. We got most of the place built. I am going to put some hay here for animals that come in. That way they don't run into our settlement and stuff like that. Um, that'll give it a little bit of um, benefits, I guess, for the settlement and stuff. But, uh, yeah, we got all the flooring pretty much done, I think. Yep. And we got... I think we're just working on banners now, to tell you the truth. So, it's just about done. Uh, we got the thing here. I'm not sure if I want to keep it there or move it. I might move it, um... Actually, you know what? I might just leave it there. Seems pretty good for the location. So, yeah, um... Basically, when there's a raid or whatever, if they break through the first two doors, uh, we'll be able to send the settlers up through these two access points. And if we go down into the thing here, as you can see, I've walled off the area going into the main settlement. And basically what we can do is we can just go upstairs. Now, the, the one thing that I should probably do is make this its own room and put a door in. I just noticed that this wasn't set up that way, so we should probably do that. Just so if they the area gets breached, there's one extra door that they have to go through. So we'll do that quickly. And... I thought I had it already set up that way, but apparently not. It also delays our people from going up, but it's better than not having a door there because then at least we can prepare if they they breach the gate and start climbing up the wall, right? So, um, yeah, outside of that, I mean, most, most cases we have the reinforced doors. Those have a lot more durability on them than the regular doors. If you go to the info, you can see that there's like 500 hit points. If we go to a regular door, it's um, a lot lower it's only 120 so it's like four times or so more than what a regular door would be so it should take a lot more time for them to break those down and we have four of those for our gate right i still need to get wood over here so basically when the door does get breached we can just quickly like fix that up right so we can um wall in this area. I'm not expecting them to get this far, but you know, just in case. I will set this to very high and go to material raw. And then we'll select wood. This should give us um, a place out here to fence this area off if they breach those first two doors. So, and then we...
Right, so we're working on our cold storage, and I, I've been working at this for a while now. Uh, we got them to mine out uh, these two sections. Uh, we, we still need this uh, built, but uh, it's getting closer. And, you know, the way that we're going at it, I'm not sure... We might send out another shipment of wine. How are we doing on wine? We're doing okay on wine. Um, yeah, if we send out another shipment of wine to the uh, philosophers, then we might be able to pick up stone bricks. And just make sure that we have a little bit extra for working on the cold storage. Because I want to get this all set up with um, the stone bricks and stuff like that. So it's going to take some time to do. Um, but... Like, if we were to do this right now, that I think that would be good. Oh, actually, you know what? Because I've dug all that out. Yeah, we're going to need to uh, be careful with how we're digging and stuff. Because I don't want it to collapse in. And we probably got... Yeah, we got structures above here. So, um, got to be really careful with what we're doing. So, I'm going to dig out these parts first. And that should be supported all in this area already. Um, when we go ahead and destroy that, I'm going to do separate parts like this. And yeah, we'll, we'll do that, I guess. And that could probably be removed like that. But we need that extra support there for this room um, to separate these two. Or it will just like collapse right in, right? So, got to be really careful with how, we, how we're doing this. Um, actually, it might even do that if we were to do that right now, uh, if I were to look at it. Okay, you know what? What I'm going to do is this is fine because we have that support here, but we're going to need something on this side. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a beam here uh, just to make sure that this part's supported uh, when we go ahead and destroy that. And... Yeah, that, that should work, hopefully. Um, but we need that beam there first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that wood down here as well. I'm going to, I don't know, put wood somewhere in here. I will put wood here. And set this to high. Material, raw, wood. Wood is, there we go. And then that way they have the resources they need for all this. And then we're going to finish this up right now. Get that done. Then we can move our food. Alright, so we got uh, quite a bit of our cold storage sorted out. I'm slowly filling in this area over here. 
and removing the stone bricks so we have something else to use. I still need to move this uh, somewhere else. We'll just stick this over here for now. And we got this part done. So we got uh, stone bricks all in here. It actually helps with the temperature quite a bit. Uh, average temperature in here is about 2 Celsius during the night. It goes up to about 3 during the day, which isn't too bad. It's currently 16, so in the afternoon, and it's just about 3. But if we go over to here, you can see it's like 4.6, almost 5 degrees. So it does help quite a bit for the temperature. This one's 3, but I'm sure people have been going in here. And what I've been doing is... Um, I should have done this at the beginning of the winter, but I have spots here for ice. So basically what will happen is uh, when we get the ice and stuff uh, produced. I'm not sure where the ice is. I thought I assigned this already. So ice. Yeah, we need to um, redo that. So basically just set these up here. So ice blocks. And I'll do the other storage here as well. So basically that will help keep the temperature even lower. So that's the end goal at least. And I have nine spots set up right now for all this. And it will last until about summer, I think. And then it will start to melt. But uh, that will get us through most of the um, winter and stuff. So, Or, pardon me, spring and summer. And then fall we'll ha have to, um, we'll be stocking stockpiling anyways right so manufactured ice so and that's where the um things over here come in uh the ice boxes the temperature requirement is i don't think set oh it is set right now so it's slowly producing so we might be able to get about nine of these or so set up so hopefully our settlers can set these up in time before winter is over and then we can even cool those areas down even more but um, outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and uh, if you're new to my community I have a discord server I'll be doing polls for the community selection or community um, polls for the next uh, season selection if you are interested so if you want to stay notified and stuff discord is a great place for that and uh, I'll hopefully see you next uh, episode. Thanks for watching. Peace out.